absolute bravo this morning, mate. I thoroughly enjoyed that show. But I've got nothing else to say because I've got to go and get a coffee. Uh, okay, mate. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> well, I can go this way. <laughs> mate, do you think uh, Russia should be um, ejected from the UN? Uh, I googled and they can be uh, uh, removed but it has to be on Security Council approval and they, they've got the uh, veto on uh, Security Council matters. Um, yeah, I don't. There's nothing I would contribute of value on, on that question. Okay. Um, are you aware whether Atlassian has ever paid any Australian company tax by any chance? No. I haven't checked. Okay. Good on you. Have yeah. a good day. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders. I, I, <laughs> I love the opportunity uh, when it presents to be able to have a brief interaction with high profile journalists and or politicians that may or may not have been a high-profile journalist departing uh, perhaps from the uh, ABC's underground car park I, I was absolutely blown away by what a good program uh, Insiders was today they, they discussed point after point of matters that I would have liked to have had the opportunity to raise with some of the journos. I came down here at about eight o'clock this morning and I left at about quarter to nine, not having encountered any of the, the journos. And I assumed that uh, that probably reflected uh, maybe the fact that there were no um, in studio journos today but lo and behold there were three and Penny Wong appeared via video link I presume from from Adelaide and I literally sat enthralled watching the show on TV as they ticked off almost every point that I would like to have discussed with journos or pollies had I had an opportunity. I have in fact had Twitter correspondence with uh, Mike Cannon Brooks. Uh, maybe a year ago uh, I saw a tweet where he indicated he was traveling to the US for some kind of a high-level meeting and I tweeted him, mate, Given your uh, antithesis to CO2 emissions, why don't you skip the uh, uh, the airline flight or the private jet flight and uh, and do it via video link? And he did actually uh, respond to me, um, saying, and I, I don't recall the exact uh, wording, but uh, the, the gist was uh, it's better to have face-to-face -face meetings in in some circumstances, which I. I <laughs> I totally accept, but, but then banging on about other people's CO2 emissions, I just find the, the, the uh, epitome of hypocrisy. But that's what goes on in the circles that, uh, in which these, these folks seem to circulate. Uh, if I'd had a, uh, an opportunity to uh, chat with Bridget, uh, which I have done in the past, and I'll, uh, I'll search back through my uh, video files, my Outside Insiders files, uh, I would like to have asked her once again, uh, given I understand that she's a, uh, uh, an Indigenous Affairs uh, reporter or correspondent with ABC News, I, I would like to have asked Bridget why it is that ABC TV News has never, ever 
reported on the murder of 18 year old indigenous mother Brittany Watson in Newman Western Australia uh, approximately two years ago around the time of the what turned about uh, turned out to be uh, according to uh, a trial in the US the murder of George Floyd so <laughs> their ABC TV news and online news gave wall-to-wall -wall unlimited coverage of the George Floyd murder from beginning to end and as, as recently as the last couple of days when three other US police officers uh, were convicted of uh, infringing the civil rights of George Floyd. The ABC just couldn't get enough of the George Floyd murder. But the murder of an Australian Indigenous woman? No. Nah. They have not uttered one iota of report. ABC TV News, one iota of reporting on Brittany Watson's murder and uh, the um, uh, stuffing of her deceased body in a wheelie bin outside the Newman Hospital. Um, the, the murder of an Australian woman doesn't even mention, doesn't even get a mention on ABC TV News, but they couldn't get enough of George Floyd, they couldn't get enough of Ahmed Arbery, they, they couldn't get enough of virtually every occasion when there has been a death of a black person at the hands of US police officers, but an Australian woman murdered in an indigenous community, nah. They're not interested in reporting that to the Australian people whatsoever. I find it rank hypocrisy and they deserve to be, uh, in my opinion, they deserve to be shut down or disposed of uh, for profit, if, that, if that's possible. But their coverage is, is utterly and disgustingly biased in relation to many issues. Bill Thompson for Outside Insight.